Well, today I'm working on a 2016 Buick Encore. Got the little Ecotec engine in it. And it's got some mass airflow sensor related codes stored in it. Check engine lights on. And first inspection, this is what I find. So the first thing I got to do is get rid of all this, get the wires hooked back up properly and securely, and then test to see what else is wrong. I'm hoping that all the problem is going to be right in there. Now, get this thing opened up a little bit more. I don't know if they just cut it off and re-spliced the wires on there. Or if they cut the pigtail off of another vehicle and spliced it on there. Or what the heck they're, they got going on here, I don't know. But all I know for sure is this ain't no good. And it looks to me like this is the original length loom, so they probably just cut it off and got it too short. It's going to make for a not so beautiful repair because I don't have enough length to work with and I don't really want to add, what, three inches, two or three inches of wire to it when there's more than enough room for this thing to plug up. Let's see, is this supposed to go down there? Yep, that's supposed to go there. I don't know why people do things like this. Let's see, this is this is supposed to be down here. So that's what I've got left to work with. <laughs> Ain't that something? I may have to do that because I, I don't want to I don't want to shorten this up or leave this loose to create a breaks a uh, fracture spot back there. So, let's see if all these wires are color for color. Well, that was not hooked up to anything. That could be one reason why we got a code. Let's see, we got a brown, and brown, and white. Let's see how we do this. Yeah, this stuff just pulls apart. Looks like everything is pretty much color coded. The only one I'm worried about is this one right here. So I'm going to pull these apart. And then I'm going to see how that one wire affects everything. not very good is it yeah I would say the quality of workmanship is low in all honesty when they're buying junk parts and junk tools to do a repair what do you expect get all this grease wiped off these things and pieces yeah see I'm just pulling all this stuff off well that one might actually be on there See that right there? That's a classic example of why you don't want to use these kinds of terminals. See how that round terminal has now got a lip right there? And it's just because it's, it's a cheap terminal and it's been improperly crimped. And this terminal split and if you put any kind of load on it at all, it's going to give out. So. Back to wiping these things off. I thought for a minute I just had two white wires and that was going to be disturbing, but that's a white with the brown white with a brown or tan stripe on it and 
and I got a feeling I'm going to wind up having to strip out some of these or extend out some of these wires Okay, now those wires are fixed, so we're good to go on that. I'm going to stick these wires back up in this loom as far as they'll go, which will probably be, let's go ahead and cut it right about here. See if we can get that slid up over these things. Usually, when you stagger your joints, you can you can get it slid on there pretty well. Now, what I'm going to do before I finish this up, I'm going to go check and see if we got any codes. And let's see, that should have some codes in there for the mass airflow sensor. I believe it was for like the intake air temperature sensor actually. Which is going to be part of the mass airflow. Yep, we got everything history, 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 history. So in theory, all these air intake temperature sensor codes, plausibility, low mass airflow sensors, Flow, we should be able to clear out and have them go away. It sometimes takes a couple times to clear them before they go away. And we're getting rid of some of them there. Well, that's not good. Well, these are current codes. It says failed and failed. So this, let me go ahead and cycle the key off and on and see if we can clear it out that way. 
Okay, and the actual problem that we have is we have the air intake temperature sensor number one is reading minus 40 while the number two is reading 93.2. So there's a definite, definite correlation problem there because the engine's cold, they should be nearly equal. So I've got to find out if both of them are in the sensor, if one of them's in the engine, and then look to see what's going on from there. Okay, I'm testing now. Hopefully get everything lined up here so you can see it. We got to check between terminal number eight. Which should be right there. And ground. And we got five volts, so that means that's good. And we one, two, three, four. Still got five volts, that's good. So what we got to do now is we're going to move this lead over here. Now we saw that we had five volts earlier, so what I'm going to do now is I've changed my meter settings to where it's going to read amps, so that gives me basically a pass-through connector or a long jumper wire, and we're going to jump her from eight to four. One, two, We have sensor number one at 302 degrees with it jumped out. So that means the computer and the wiring are okay. It can read 302 on a, uh, a short, short to ground. And it reads minus 40 on an open. So the wiring and the computer are okay. The problem is in the mass airflow sensor itself. So these people went and cut up that sensor for no, or sensor harness for no good reason. So I have to tell, well I got to finish fi fixing this and looming it up, then I got to tell them they have to have this in order to get the check engine light out and get the car running as smooth as it should. And I believe I'm also going to have to tell them that they're going to need an intake, um, intake or intake gasket, I don't remember which because I thought I heard it sucking air back there earlier. But that's a different, different subject altogether. We still got to talk to the customer about replacing the mass airflow sensor but i got the wire and harness back together and everything tested out so let me do that and hopefully they'll give us the okay to replace it hope this helps sparky out